ain't ready. We're not ready. We ain't ready for a cease and desist. That's a positive. Fired up, baby. Episode 101. Uh, Net Positive Podcast. We in the studio, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you know what 101 means, bro? What does it mean? You about to learn today. Mm. You gonna learn today. Nice, dude. Is that what 101 is? That is what that means. Yeah, you go to college. Why is that? Do you it's, know? It's the intro class. Why is it 101? Why Net is it positive, 101? It's level 100 in the first one. 101. Oh, let's say it, we'll, we'll introduce people if they're new. Okay. If they are new to Net Positive. We'll just start the whole yeah. thing over. Let's see. My name's John. This is episode 101. We talk about nothing yeah, dude. yeah 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 hi i'm alex i help i contribute with yeah. the uh discussion of nothing of nothing yeah. dude yeah, yeah we don't do where are we st- where did we start i have no idea where are we going also don't know who knows we had some good times along the way yeah sometimes there's guests in here yep sometimes there's not right i have some good laughs we do make fun of some stuff i'm a stand-up comedian you are i go on the road yep um let's see what else i go on the road i do i do stand up on the weekends yep come back have some tales mm-hmm. from the road yep we look. We uh, read the news. We read news. Yeah, we do our best to read. We do our best to read. We're yeah. not reading great. Oh, shout out to some fans, bro. I got. I wrote this down. Uh, shout out to some. Oh shoot, where is it? Oh, uh, Emma from Savannah. Okay, came through the making show. Love it. Big fan of the pod. What's up, Emma? Emma, shout out. Thanks for coming. And Megan and Casey uh, came to the Durham, North Carolina show. Nice. Put me on the podcast. I want a shout out. Nice. That's not what they sound like. And that was disrespectful to them. They signed the check though. So yeah. you're good. They've supported yeah. me for a long time. Yeah. Put us on the podcast. <laughs> Everyone, every time people come to the meet and greet, they say they want to come to the podcast. Really? They want to come in here. I mean, sure. Yeah. What are they going to do? Just sit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Well, I like that the people think that they can come hang with us. Yeah, that's cool. We're inviting. We're approachable. Group. Easton's in the in the studio today. Yep. Is little, he on? Is he on mic or no? He's, a little, he's not on mic, but he is on camera. Oh, he's on not on mic, but he is on camera. Yep. That's how they all start. Yep. Uh, let's see. April. We are headed to. We're off this weekend. Uh, next weekend we're going to Rochester, St. Paul, and Duluth, Minnesota. Three shows in Minnesota. Let's go. Wild. Then we're doing three in California: San Jose, Santa Rosa, Redding. Uh, home of Bethel Church. And then we're doing Dayton, Ohio, two shows in Lexington on April 25th, 26th, and 27th. May, we only got three tour dates, Lincoln, Nebraska, Des Moines, and Grand Forks, North Dakota. Rounding out the tour, the end of the emotional support tour. Uh, Charleston, West Virginia is actually uh, canceled because the um, venue burned down or something like that. Sad. Well, I didn't burn down. Just They're like, we don't, we don't, we don't exist anymore. Oh, okay. I didn't cancel it. They canceled it. Got it. We're uh, rescheduling that though. Baltimore, Maryland, Newark, Newark, New Jersey. You ever seen that meme about Newark, New Jersey? Is that's where, like East Rutherford is where the World Cup finale is going to be? Yes. And people were like, we thought America. <laughs> they're like, it's New Jersey. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Dude. I don't know if that's our best foot forward. I don't <laughs> no. know why we're representing. We're like, it's that one. Come to Show East the Rutherford, <laughs> dude. They're like, this is your country. The whole world. We got better stuff than this. Yeah. Uh, but not when I'm in town on June the uh, 8th, June 9th, New Haven, Connecticut. Then we're going out to the last run of the West Coast, Portland, Tacoma, and Spokane, uh, June 14, 15, and 16, baby. This week's episode brought to you by stamps.com dot com. Dot com. Uh, the new year is full of surprises baby mm. somebody said I challenge yourself to get through one episode uh, w- get through one ad read without saying baby oh and I already messed it up yeah, do I yeah. do that you say baby <laughs> I'm not mad at it though. I say baby too. The year is full of surprises, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that was unnecessary. Just but to, it is. Yeah, but it is full of surprises. Uh one thing is that is predictable. Uh postage stamps, Alex. Yeah. That's gonna go up. Yeah. Postage is going up. Yep. Stamps.com gives you crazy discounts up to 89%. And USPS and UPS services, so your business will barely notice the change. Mm. Stamps.com has been helping businesses like yours save money and time for over 25 years. Uh, with your own personal post office, wherever you are, stamps.com is all you need. All you need, sorry, is your computer and printer. They even send you a scale. You'll have everything to get started. Start shipping stuff out. 
Uh, take care of orders as they go and easy with stamps.com on the mobile app. Uh, if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule that through hmm. stamps.com dashboard. They got it all, baby. What can't they do? Uh, crazy discounts, premium supplies at your fingertips running low. Uh, you can get a reorder, get a get huge carrier discounts also up to 89%. Unbelievable. Plus, stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping option baby for over 25 years stamps.com has been indispensable shoot for over 1 million <laughs> businesses take a chunk out of your mailing and shipping costs this year with stamps.com sign up with your promo code net positive for a special offer that includes a four-week free trial plus free postage a free digital scale no long-term commitments or contracts just go to stamps.com click on the microphone at the top of the page and enter net positive love it right after the show i'm going to go down to the old uh, Stamps.com headquarters, which is UPS. Nice. No, not UPS. USPS. USPS. Yeah, I got a. Uh, we got a PO, a PO box down there. Oh yeah, for all the uh, mail from the podcast. There you go. Into. Yeah. So you got to check in and see what we got. That's where you got. That's where I got all the baby clothes. Yeah. Yep. And speaking of this week, yeah, we we were risking it doing a podcast today. Yep. Alex's life is going to be changed. Yep. We're due later this week, so we are just fingers crossed, prayers up, and Dang. holding our breath. See, I came in at 40. I was a different guy. Right. You're going to come in next week. Daddy. <laughs> okay. That was unnecessary. If I whisper it, it's not, it's yeah, not good, it's right? Different. I shouldn't whisper that. No. That's okay. I'm learning. First no, time you can, you can, you can I'm say I'm learning it, these yeah. things. Daddy. Papa. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, then she's going to be on the Is it boy or girl? We don't know. It's a girl. It's it. Yeah. How long until she can be on the pod? Um, we'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah. We'll give her some time. Yeah, we'll give her some time. She's got to get PR too. trained first. Yeah, so. that's a good point. Good point. Uh, Easter. How was Easter? It was good. I laid low, hung out with my parents. Did you? Watched some basketball. Oh, yeah. How about you? Uh, it was good. I was, we took most of the day to celebrate uh, transgender day of visibility. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then, I don't think that's how it's pronounced, but yeah, I, I do know what you mean. <laughs> I messed that joke all up. Dude. Transgender. I messed that joke. I was trying to think of the beginning and the end of it. Transgender day of visibility. Nailed it. That's what it was. We'll punch that in. Yeah. <laughs> well, Just voiceover. I uh, can't do it anymore. Yeah. I was. I did. I did. I did post the Instagram story from um, that uh, drag strip. What's drag strip? It said strip? transmission day of visibility. Because I was at a yeah. race. Right. And I just posted a car with its hood up. And everybody's like, I didn't get it. <laughs> you didn't get it? No. Dude, dang it. I didn't get it because I think I saw that. I saw that it day was of visibility. that day later. I don't think I knew at the time when oh, I saw it. Oh, shoot. Otherwise, dude. I think I would have got it. See, that's how jokes, that's how some jokes work. Some that's jokes it. don't. It's yeah. not, that one wasn't your fault. That was on me. No, but it, yeah, it's, you remember, I've, I've always talked about a joke being like a, like a canyon. You got to jump across it. Mm. If it's too close, you just step across it. There's no reward. Ooh. If you jump. And you go all that reward, and you make it to the other side. You know, like when you're at, on the creek when you're little, and you're yeah. like, can I get across it? Oh, yeah. And it's so far away, you're like, but I did it. Yeah. Those are the best jokes. But also, if it's so far away, you're going to lose a lot of people. Right. They're not going to make it. They can't get across all the way. But it, So you didn't get across. No, I didn't get there. <sighs> I'm in the creek. You're in the creek, bro. I'm in the creek, man. But the people, let me tell you, the people that did get across. Oh, dude. They were like, this is the, this is the best joke I've ever. Big payoff. It, it's not for everybody. Or, right. or you, it's a little, it's uh, hidden a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what makes the best joke. Yeah, it's a little subtle. Yeah. So then if you got over, you're like, oh, this is amazing over here. Yeah, you here. feel privileged to be there. Yeah. Like, but oh, if, wow, I get this. If it's too easy, you're mm -hmm. like, no, there's no privilege because everybody stepped over. It's a really good metaphor, dude. Yeah. Well, it's not, not, not mine. I think it's from, I don't know, I've heard it on podcasts. It's a good one. Yeah. Story of my life, a 40-year-old white guy heard it on a heard podcast. It on podcast. Dude. I catch myself often being like, yeah, I read something the other day, and then I'm no, like- No, it's on a podcast. It was a TikTok. I, I was scrolling TikTok at 4 a.m. But dude, yeah. you can't, you, listen, if you say, if you say, hey, the um, crime rate in Nashville based on uh, the population demographics, I read an article. Right. You sound- Oh, dude. Educated. So smart. Smart. Yeah. Intelligent. Yeah. Elite. The crime rate in Nashville, based on the get demographics, I saw it on TikTok. Get out, get dude. Out yeah, get out. Yeah. And I heard on a podcast is in the middle of there. It is. It's a happy medium. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because there are podcasts that are smart, mm -hmm. that do teach you things. Do you think that most people, when they think of podcasting, they think it's it's smart stuff? Or do no, you think it's more no. so like what we do? This, the, this is us. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are we? We're not really a smart podcast, <laughs> no, I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think so. I put us in that category. Well, we sneak one in every once in a while. We do, yeah. yeah. I think we, yeah, we sneak up on people. Yeah, we sneak, we're like, oh, I, didn't, yeah. I learned something, but that's not the goal. No, well, it's we're like we were talking about last week. Like, if people are looking at to us for yeah. the news every single, no, you're no, like, not. you say, hey, dude, I heard, um, 
the uh, crime rate with the demographics is different. I heard it on John Christ's <laughs> podcast. You're like, get out of this room. <laughs> This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. No. This guy's no idea. Dude. Oh, John's got the crime rate stats for us. Oh, nice, dude, I dude. wish I could go back in my. Uh, um, I wish I could scroll back in my Instagram. There's this kid. He's like two years old. He's explaining to his sister about how um, uh, girl cows are uh, put out white milk and boy cows put out chocolate milk. Smart. Kid. He's like a baby genius, and he's explaining this. This girl's like, really. And he's and he's so confident. Mm -hmm. He's like going and, and and I sent it to Lydia and then she goes, How did they find your podcast? <laughs> Dang it. That's really good. I know. Man. She's like, How did they find your That's podcast? That's really good. Like, dude, he, he was so confident. Yeah. This kid was the most I'll show it to you after the pod. He's right though. So yeah. I mean that is I mean, he's right. Yeah. 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 And if you didn't know any better, you're like, I think Yeah, I mean, he sounds yeah. Like he knows what he's doing. Got this is Cows something. 101. Yeah. I'll say, I just have one take hot off the press this morning. Sure. Is we went to uh we went to church yesterday. Hey. Hey, Give it up hey for that's him. what I want. That's Give what I wanted to him. say. That's what I wanted. Yep. That was my I did go to that's it. Actually. That was it, yeah. yeah anyway, Moving on to the news. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh now we went to the church and we got in there. I'd say probably got there on time, a little early. Oh, do, right. I mean, hey, they, come on, yeah, a little dude, early. First time ever on Easter. Yeah, first time Oof. ever. Very big. pretty proud of that. Cool. So th th every church does some kind of like uh, occasion or something, right? They have a, something special. We'll get to one in a second that somebody sent me that was unreal. Yep. That is way, way, way too much. Yep. I think you want your church to do a little, mm -hmm. but not the most. That's well said. Okay. You wanted them to do a little, right? A little extra, right? Uh, so I walk into my church, uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Boom, 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 boom. All lined up, right? Love, dude. I'm all home. lined up. No, listen. Dude. All lined up, open, only the bad ones left. Uh, dude, only the bad. Dude, 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 dude. Get glazed, maybe chocolate sprinkle. I would go every single one. I would go eight glazed, four chocolate sprinkle. Boom. Get 100 of them. Mm -hmm. If you don't like that, Get out of this church. I speak on behalf of the church. What are the bad ones? The bad ones are the the like uh like like a uh, they're not like donut. They're like they're cakey. They're a little like a uh, they're stronger. They're like uh, more of like breaded. Like a bear claw. I don't know what those are. The bad ones are okay. Uh, the chocolate ones that are they're full chocolate. Oh, like chocolate donut. Bad. Yeah, you chocolate donut, chocolate glaze. Never should exist. That's it should it, be glazed right? yes. with the chocolate on top. Got it. Maybe sprinkles and yep. then just glazed. That's yep. the only three that should exist. Okay. Anything strawberry? Yeah. Get. Uh, yeah. All that stuff is should not exist. I'm showing John pictures of bear claws. Yeah. Oh, uh, they didn't have any of those. Okay. Yeah, but they're all there. Go to Dunkin' Donuts menu. I'll tell you the ones that should never exist. Nobody gets these. And this is probably going to be a hot take because they're going to everybody like, dude, I love those in the airport. No, this is important. No, you don't. This is important. How do they find your podcast? Okay, <laughs> what do we got? All right, go to go to donuts. Donut menu. Okay, I've never looked at this in my life. Me neither. I didn't know they had this online. This yeah, is crazy. do they have the photos of it? Um, the varieties. Donuts. donuts. Oh, there varieties. it is. Is I think you just clicked on it. They're just. It's just a list though. It's a drop down list. I was looking to see if they had pictures. All right. Well, all those we don't need. Also, these are, I've never heard of any of these in my. What no, are we don't need these? any of these. What are dude, these? Any go to uh, f a, a photo of a Dunkin' Donuts assortment, maybe. Yeah. Let's just go. Let's go. This is ridiculous. Dunkin yeah. Dude, how can we not find um, menu assortment? Maybe. What do we, we just want to go images. to images? Why is this so hard? Yeah, dude. Look at these. All right. Look at oh, these. None of these. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Right. Yes. This is what we want. That was a struggle. Yeah. This is what we need. What a terrible photo it is, but oh, we'll yeah. take it. Here we go. Let's hit it here. All right. Lovely. Old fashioned. No. Okay. I'm going to fight you there, John. No, right on top, dude. dude. I'm going to cave for the old an fashioned. An old fashioned man. donut? Yeah, dude. I love an old fashioned donut. Okay. Love it. With well, a coffee or an apple cider. Well, you're not welcome in my church. No, okay. Well, I'll tell you that. Okay. Yeah. We welcome everyone. That's what's on the sign. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Don't come. There's a verse in the John Christ version that says, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Thou no. shalt not have old fashioned donuts. And that's in the Trump in Bible. In my household. In the Trump Bible. In the Bible. Trump Bible. Did you see that, by the way? <laughs> yeah. How dude. funny after we were just talking about you putting one out? He's like, <laughs> I'm putting one out. He's like, I have one. <laughs> yeah. I'm putting one out. Yeah, it says with the uh, God bless America, which I don't think I I look. I've read it. 
The Trump Bible. The real Bible. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's, that's not in there. No. God bless America. Definitely not. Turns out it's not in there. No. Blueberry cake. Thumbs up. No, Come dude. on, man. No. You just need, your, your palate is, I'm not with it right People now. have said that. I have been, that has been a critique of mine. Okay. I think at the roast, people have said that. That was said, which we'll get to later. Yeah. Uh, Boston cream. I'm out. No, dude. Out on Boston cream. Not at church. No. What do you need a napkin then? Absolutely. No. Maybe a bib. Yeah, you're not going, but no. Uh, butternut. I don't know if I've even seen that one in no. person. Chocolate frosted with sprinkles. Yes. Yes. Hard, hard yes. Chocolate glazed. Pass. No. Chocolate cream? First of all, that you're that's monstrosity. No, dude. It's just a donut filled with chocolate. F absolutely gross. That's French cruller. No. Nope, I'm out. Glazed. Yes. Yes. Jelly. Yes. No. <gasps> no. Why? What? That's the you're, that's the same as Boston cream. No, it's actually the opposite of Boston cream. But you still need a bib. You do need a bib, kind of. Vanilla cream. No. Strawberry frosted with sprinkles. That's, that's no, for five-year-olds. No. Get glazed. All right, for glazed and chocolate frosted with sprinkles, that's all we two need. Well, no. we disagree on some of the types. I'm yeah. not mad at your approach. Okay. Well, here's the problem. I mean, I, this is not a, a unique take. Uh, like, you go to, like, you have a, a pizza party. Mm -hmm. They got, like, four pepperonis mm -hmm. and then, like, one pineapple like two like vegan pizzas and you're like dude no one's eating this yes and then you get there late yep and you got vegan pizza yep that it tastes like uh, there's no distinction between that and the box it came in yep and you're like dude <laughs> but here's the problem those people complain yeah the pe there's there's somebody is going to get an email from the church how come there's no jelly filled mm -hmm. i'm allergic to glaze Right. And then you're like, oh, so we got to be all things to all people. Yep. And that I think that, we, no, we got to start. I need to be in charge of something. Yeah. I'm in I, charge of nothing. You got to get on like the, what, what I need board to start a that? business, a board, Nashville city councils, because yeah. I need to start. That's it. Nashville I need city to start. Council. Maybe that's it. I don't think anybody here has ever liked a mayor that we've had. Maybe you should run. Dude, I could, I, uh, I could get a council spot. Then I got to go. Right, then you have something to do. Yeah, now. then I got to go. Yeah. On Tuesdays, I got, I got the pod. You got the pod. <laughs> you can't. I get the so pod. that's it, you can't do it. Yeah. But I was I appreciated that, but it's always, yeah, at our at our show, uh, the merch, we got small, medium, large, XL, mm. maybe a couple double Xs. Nice. And then every time we get an email, how come there's no three Xs? You're discriminated. I go, yeah. all right, we're going to get a whole box of three Xs, mm -hmm. sell one. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna hold those three X's for and the the people that the, the yeah I guess somebody an intern was in charge of going to get donuts. If I was in charge, hey, I get fifty boxes of glazed. Mm -hmm. No, I just I would get glazed <laughs> ten glazed two chocolate in every one. Maybe really maybe nine glazed three chocolate. You go six six. I'd go six six. I think it's a pretty even split chocolate Sprinkles. like chocolate frosted versus glazed. Yeah, I might go nine three is. Eight four. Let's settle on that. Okay. I could go six, seven five. Six. Seven meet, five. Meet Let's go seven, five. Seven, seven five. five. Yeah, we'll we go seven five. That. Now here's what you don't want to do. And I, I've I've long since been uh, made jokes about churches on Easter being their Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, and I've made these jokes for forever. Yes. I think I uh, handed them off to the next uh, Christian comedian in the line. <laughs> the and next I, gen. Yeah. No one's picked it up yet, yeah. but uh, I left it where it was. I got the, we got this email this morning. Speaking of Easter. Yeah. Just stellar. Yeah. This says, <laughs> hello, Southbrook families. Sincere email, by the way. Yeah. We regret to inform you that, e that the Easter Bunny, hello, Southbrook families. We regret to inform you that the Easter Bunny will no longer be able to skydive today <laughs> due to whether it wouldn't be safe for him to hop out of the plane. <laughs> We hope you're still able to join us and visit with him in the Southbrook Kids. See you soon. <laughs> real. Real email. Real email. From a real church. From a real church. <laughs> About a real skydiving Easter bunny. Okay. Easter, we all reviewed the story. Yeah. The tomb, they go to it, stones rolled back, the linens are in there. Yep. Jesus isn't. Isn't yeah yeah that's a better way to say it. It appears it's a miracle. Lives are changed, and he and Death you know conquered. yeah Christ ascended to heaven. He's like, hey, sounds like 
You guys got it down here. Mm -hmm. I left you some instructions. I'm going to go. Y'all take it from here. Mm -hmm. And 2,000 years later, Southbrook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't have it from here. It turns out no. doesn't have it from here. No, I don't know what Southbrook is, and I've probably done a show there, so I love them and I and I respect uh, their their uh, effort to try to get to attract the lost. Let's say that there's one thing I know about Southbrook. <laughs> it's uh, they got a budget. They, they got, got a, <laughs> they got a budget and a mail list because they've they, they've got it. They 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 talk about this like it, it has happened right many times right. This is why and also we regret to inform you is like dude this is. It's going down. This is gonna, yeah. This is gonna hurt some feelings. At so, yeah, the, it, hello Southbrook families. It, I, we regret to inform you that <laughs> I could just break this down phrase by phrase. Yeah, we regret to inform you, right. meaning it's happened many times, and sounds like that is the main reason people are attending. We know you were looking forward to this yeah. today. Hey, hey, it should say, hey, Southbrook families. Uh, Jesus did, in fact, still <laughs> rise. From the grave. Despite the fact the bunny will not be jumping, <laughs> the okay. Jesus is still king. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, <laughs> we'll celebrate. see you on Sunday. Yeah. Come celebrate. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We re <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. We regret to inform you that the Easter bunny. Mm. Okay. Right. I'm just I'm just imagining like getting like getting to like eternity and having to like they just show these receipts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the Easter Bunny was at your church? Yeah. All right. Well, it's it's kind of like a Santa thing, but isn't that kind of against what we? <laughs> the, yeah, but it's like more like it would just attract people. Once we get them in, then we preach. You know, then we, you know, they get there for the right reasons. But that's just kind of a way we get. So it's an Easter Bunny? No, 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 no. It's not a bunny. It's a guy. Right. It's a guy dressed as a bunny. And this is at Southbrook. Yeah, yeah, Southbrook. Okay. So he's and then. So, so what does he do? Just walk in? Okay, well, he used to walk in. He used to walk in, and then people kind of were like complaining, like, this is kind of boring, all the Easter Bunny. We used to have a bunny, and then we got an Easter Bunny suit. <laughs> then he did like a dance. He did like a little like, um, you know, it's, uh, <sighs> choreographed thing, yeah. and then people were kind of over that, and we are like, how do we? So <sighs> last couple years... <laughs> There's a guy at our church with a plane. And then there's a guy that is skydives. And what we do, it, we used to read the Bible at the in the <laughs> service, but now we go, when is this happening? Right. Before? This can't be before. Dude. After? It has after. to be after. It has to be after. It can't be before. And is he doing the nine and the 11? Or is he doing... Is it, <laughs> is is it, it two jumps? <laughs> is it two jumps? He's doing the 130 service? Do you think at the gates, they're like, you know, they got to testify for this one? And, yeah, they, and yeah. God's like, hey, what's this one? And they're like, yeah. hey. To be fair, the book didn't say we should. No. Nah, like, he's say. like, hey. <laughs> he And he goes, service was packed. Yeah. And he goes... <laughs> We sold it out. You yeah, saw. Sold, sold you it saw. Out. Don't act like you hey, didn't see you that. You the numbers. Yeah, you see come the on, number. man. Scoreboard. You see the numbers, dude. <laughs> we regret to inform you that the Easter Bunny will not be able to skydive today due to the weather. Yeah. It wouldn't be safe for him, too. They're like, can we just stick to in information? Now, let me throw in a... Uh, let me throw in a hop. Yeah, let me. Or, what's that called? A pun. Yeah, let, let me, me throw in a pun. Yeah. Let me hit a pun real yeah, quick. Because the, the skydiver who is probably hungover. Yeah. He's like, yo. Has nothing to do with the church. He checks the Doppler yeah. and he's like, yo, I'm not trying to jump out of a, with an Easter Bunny costume. Yeah, nah, fam. I also, I like that this says, uh, we'll not be able to skydive today. Today. Meaning they waited until the last minute oh, to make this call. That's from the morning. Yes. This was morning of. They Dude. tried and tried and tried to make this happen and they were like, we got to call it, guys. Think about what, what you've told your kids. They woke up that day. Oh. They were all excited for I, it. This is a regretful. This is tough. Okay, so you're if you're a parent and you get I'm this pissed. email, are you telling your kids before you go? We regret to inform you that the Easter Bunny will not be able to skydive today due to the weather. It would not be safe for him to hop out of a plane. 
I don't think I'm telling my kids. They just get, show up. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let the I'll let the pastor be the best. And then act like we all are learning at the yeah, same be like, time. Oh, I what gotta. Do you yeah, mean? yeah, you I can't. gotta. No, oh, no. And then, I'm so disappointed. Shoot. Now we just gotta, we're already here. Got to just listen to the story then. Yep. Unfortunately. Oh, but he's still that. No, dude, he's still. At least there's donuts for us. To, oh man, oh, the donuts dude. are trash. Jelly too. filled. Ew. No, dude, he's still there. Yeah, he's, he's still, still coming. Yeah, he's just not jumping out of a plane. I hope you're still able to join us and visit with him. I don't think you visit with him. <laughs> do you? I guess you sit on his lap. Like, also, what do you do with also, the also, also. If I'm a skydiver, which doing it at like you know the guys that do it at like the football games they do it and then they come down at the 50 yard line and they like land right right sometimes guys go into this audience and it or it's a disaster yeah things happen yeah so there's bad weather they didn't say if it was rain or if it was wind we don't know right but it sounds like he can't make the landing that he that he he's trying to make right but is this if I'm skydiving, it's like you, you like playing football. It's like you got the pads, you got the thing. If you're skydiving, I've been skydiving before. There's a, I just wore long pants, shoes laced up, and I think a, a zip up or something like that. They go, can you skydive? Yeah. Oh, can you put on this, dude? That's a head. Yeah. I How's know. he getting that down? I don't know how you're doing. That. How you doing that? You skydiving? Oh, we shouldn't Google it, should we? Southbrook. Easter Bunny. I mean, Southbrook Easter Bunny skydiver. There's twist no way my there. arm. <laughs> Sky Southbrook. Southbrook. We're gonna Church. come through next year. We're coming through. Easter Bunny skydive. <laughs> no, surely no, dude. Oh boy. <laughs> the worst part is not there. there's a lot of yeah. results. <laughs> There's a lot of results. There's too dude. many, dude. A lot. There's of too many. That and then and then now the churches that people are listening are now getting. Now there's going to be more. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's going to be copycats. Oh no, dude. I don't know if this is. I want to see the skydiver. Right. Yeah, this is not. This it, is dude. an announcement. Oh, from this 21 is. The, but this is the Southbrook. It. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, that's South. Oh, we didn't find the guy jumping. No. But I, how does he come down in the in the? Whole costume. I don't understand how he keeps the head on because usually that thing's falling off when they're just running around. There he is. Never mind skydiving. <laughs> My goodness, dude! I can't believe this is real. Hey, that's even more confusing to try to tell to try to tell a kid. Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Oh man, I wish everyone was watching on YouTube. I wish everyone was watching on YouTube. Okay, the Easter Bunny. The, the Easter Bunny. That's next to the interstate, by the way. Right yeah. behind him is the interstate for sure. Okay, so he you it's can a, see his ankles. It's a, <laughs> they're checking him, dude. Look, she's pulling the pants to the. Okay, so it's feet. a tandem jump, right? It's a tandem <laughs> jump. This is unbelievable. This may or may not be Southbrook, right? It is not Southbrook. Is, all right, go back to the beginning. Can confirm. Watch it again. Okay. Yeah. This guy lands. Skrr. Boom. <laughs> it takes out. <laughs> what was he planning on to do and catching him? <laughs> no, dude. He nailed that guy. Oh. Also, uh, interesting choice of, of canvas. I it's a that. rainbow canvas. <laughs> also celebrating transgender. They have uh, there you go. visibility. Yep. Two birds with one stone. Nice. Southbrook. Over the interstate. <laughs> trying to be caught by the youth pastor for sure. Yeah. All right. So it's a tandem jump. That's what we didn't understand. Why does it look like everybody who's lined up to catch him is Australian? How Australian do these people to? look? Don't they look Australian? Yeah, they do look Australian. They do look Australian. No, no disrespect to the Australians. Oi. Yeah. They got. Oh, then they got to get the. Fl they got to get the thing the down. Thumbs up is yeah. killing me. But it's so he's not the Easter Bunny's not jumping alone. No. Yeah, dude, you can see his. You can see his whole knee. <laughs> So he had the helm. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I like how many how many staff meetings were involved in, in executing this. He's like, please get me out of this harness. Yeah. And does then get to, me out of this costume. Does he have to go over and shake hands with the kids? Most likely. Dude, just, if I was a kid, I'd be like, you know, when you, you, you know, you turn 40, you look back and you go, dude, remember? <laughs> Didn't I pretty sure my church, an Easter bunny, sky... <laughs> Is it Skydove? Skydove. Skydove. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Southbrook Church. Great piece of content. Stellar piece of content. And thank you for whoever uh, sent in that email. That's Just amazing. Just stellar. Uh, 
We did. We got the video back from um, my birthday roast. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. We what got a the fun bur- night. What a night. You were the. Thanks for coming out, by the way. Dude, th- it was a blast. It was unbelievable. All uh, the All Star Nashville comics and some flew in from out of town. Yep. To give me uh, a little bit of a roast, and I was like, "Well, let's just do it on the podcast. Uh, let's just review f- five of them." Yeah. Let me say there was. How do you say this? There was some jokes that should stay in there. Just stay in the room. Yeah. Yeah. They should never... They're not for the public. No, they're not for the public. Yep. But let me say, those are the ones we laughed the hardest Absolutely, at. man. And I was like... Because I, I came up with these, the, the five or six right here mm-hmm. that we're going to watch yep. and listen to. And and if you have been around the John Christ sphere for however long, the, the, you will find these very funny. Yes. I tried to choose the ones that were the most honest and that were the... but. Uh, how do you want to do it? You just want to watch them? We'll watch them like one at a time. We'll pause in between. Okay. So chat. let me just say it was it was a surprise to me. Yeah, you uh, didn't know that this was happening. I did not know this was happening. What did you think was happening? Dude, I had, well, we're doing a, we were doing a dinner the next night. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't even on my radar nice. to like think of something that might be happening. Well played by Lydia. On yeah, my girlfriend. So I do New Material Monday, which is at the club on Monday nights. Mm-hmm. I go down there and do the show from you know, seven to nine or whatever. And then they, the owner of the club brought me next door because they're doing a construction on this part of the club. I was over there for like 40 minutes. They filled this place with all my friends. Mm-hmm. Everybody was at the show. And then some unbelievable comics. Uh, Nate Bargatze was on the show. Liam Morgan was on the show. Tim Hawkins, uh, the, the comedian that I learned everything I know from, flew in for the show. Crazy. Mandel was on the show. Derek Stroop flew in to be on the show. Yep. Uh, Josh Black was on the show. Yep. Aaron Weber, Brian Bates. Uh, it was a full lineup. Yeah. Stack. Full lineup. Invited everybody, uh, ch- ch- handpicked by my girlfriend. So I when guess. somebody did, could come, somebody couldn't. We got there, and like the marquee said, "Happy birthday, John Chris." Yeah. And I'm like, "How? What does he think he's?" I was around the back coming here, so you yeah. didn't even see that. No, I never saw it. So then, when did you know? Okay, I got into the green room, and like Derek Stroop was in there. Yeah, but that wouldn't be that uncommon. Because it, would it be weird for him to come and not tell you though? Not nah, really. Okay. Because we we like we always end the tour on Sunday or Monday anyway. Maybe he like stuck stuck around. Sure. Or like maybe he's has a regional show Tuesday. Came in. Yep. I, I, I was like, and then I saw him, and I go, what? And then Garrett was there. Yep. Filming, and I I still was like, oh, that's weird. And then they go, we're having a roast for you, and I go, <laughs> what? And then. Liam Morgan, who was already there, yep. Nate, who was already there, Mandel, who was already on the show, I kind of started piecing it together. But I didn't have this big reaction because I was like, until I walked out. Yeah. And I saw all of my friends, many that had flown in. Yep. Tim Haw- When I saw Tim Hawkins, I was like, dude. That was crazy. That's crazy that he was there. That's so cool, uh, So they sat me up on the stage and Derek hosted it. And uh, it, man, it was so, it was so... Everybody says that I was such a good sport about like taking all the jokes, mm-hmm. but I was like, I thought they were hilarious. Yeah, I wish they would have gone harder. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think I, they went pretty hard. Those I are the did. ones that will stay private. Yeah, but, yeah, those <laughs> ones will stay private. But, oh yeah, I, dude, yeah. so good, man. Gosh, it's so people don't understand like a roast, like a good roast is like I was, I was honored that they all took the time to to prepare something. Absolutely I was honored by it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here we got the first one. We, this is by uh, is Aaron. I think Derek's first. Derek's first. Here we go. People ask me all the time. They're like, how are John's fans at the show? I always tell them they're usually not huge comedy fans, so they love his act. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, dude. Nice. What? Very nice. They're meaning like people that come to my shows have never been to a comedy show before. Right. And they're like, this is awesome. Yeah, we don't know what this is. Meaning like if they ever found out about other comics... Yeah, they'd be like, yeah, John got me into it, and then I never looked back. I just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, such a good joke. That's a perfect, it's a perfect misdirection. Yes. Because it's just like it jumping over the, uh, it's like jumping over the creek. Man. It's so good, man. Gosh, here's one from, uh, this is from Aaron Weber. Aaron Weber's next, yeah. The Amish haircut. You remember the Amish haircut yeah. that he had? And he made that his personality for a few weeks. Remember that? I, that felt really mean. Um, I was just kidding. But I'm saying he likes the Amish because they're the only group of people that can't Google him. And that's why. 
That's such a great joke, dude. I love that he got, he got like he scared himself with the first. Yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, and then yeah, yeah, it was a lot. Sorry, man. He looked over at me, and I was like, nah, dude, it's funny, dude. It's fine, it's fine. (laughs) It's like the made that his personality for a few weeks. (laughs) He's like, there was no, everybody's like, what is the joke? I was like, I don't know. I just like to do it. He's like, is there like a, is there like a bit? Or Nate, what does Nate say? Is there, is there like a bit about it? Is yeah. there a video? We yeah, missed? he's like, did you make a video or something? <laughs> yeah, like, so. well, I don't really understand. Like, he, oh, you just had it. You're oh, okay. 40. I mean. Like, you're 40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he like, went, he did it twice. He yeah. didn't just do it because once. Because I feel, I feel like it, looking back on the, on, on the analysis, Aaron Weber, I don't think meant to say the member when he made that his personality for a few weeks you know that he didn't ad-libbed sound that. like that was written yeah that was yeah ad-libbed on the spot so he goes john's a uh, bowl cut remember when he got the bowl cut and he made that his personality <laughs> for two weeks <laughs> he was just in the pocket not on un- feeling mean not untrue dude. <laughs> yeah not untrue stellar so that's the only group that can't they can't google him that's so funny great dude. joke phenomenal great great nod Nod to the past. Yes. And it, in it like, uh, so funny, dude. I, I thought that was one of the best jokes of the night. That's so good. Here we go. We got uh, Josh Black. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. When Morgan Wallen got caught saying the N-word, John texted him and said, we all been there, fam. We all been there. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he came so dude, hot. I forgot to mention Josh Black. He was so Josh good, Josh Black man. off the top. So good. He was the first one. He opened it, yeah. Yeah. So they were trying to, I talked to Lucy a little bit the, of Zanies and we, they, I was trying to, how did y'all get this lineup? Yeah. Well, they're like, they got to be a combination of like John's good friends and people that know how to roast. Right. Like Josh is like, the he's been on the pod, mm-hmm. premier uh, roaster in Nashville. Yeah. He has a, 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 a roast battle coming up in like a month. Oh, nice. It's in April. I put it on my calendar. Nice. They're unbelievable. Today. Dude, he, he killed it. The roast are on. Do you watch? The, I mean, the Comedy Central roasts are are iconic, super iconic, iconic. Dude. Are they doing them anymore? Uh, I don't think I've seen one. I don't in a think long they do. Uh, not on Comedy Central. Yeah, I mean, th- but they've got. I mean, some the Justin Bieber roast, great, was iconic, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, but there is there is like a. Uh, I mean, who's been the head? The Rob Lowe. I think they've they've had a Trump yep, roast in there a long time ago. Yeah, where you go, man. This is so whatever this career is or whatever it's all we, we've taken this way too serious yeah we've taken this way too serious josh killed it killed it dude yeah he, i mean we, that's that's only that's the least funny joke he had but yeah. oh i couldn't include any of the other ones yeah i mean that's a wild i don't even know what that joke means exactly i mean <laughs> I, I mean i that think you're way with racist tendencies yeah, is that, that <laughs> you're closeted racist is what that the he's joke? saying it dude <laughs> When Morgan Wallen got caught saying the N-word, I texted him and said, we've all been there. We've all been there, fam. Yo, it's cool. I fam, got, fam, I got you, bro. Fam is wild, dude. Yeah, fam. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we got one from, uh, you want to do one from Tim? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, Brian Bates Brian is Bates next. next. Here we go, Brian Bates. Uh, I'm a, a little embarrassed. My, do- my two-year-old daughter wants to be a comedian like you. Yep. She falls on the ground for no reason. She repeats jokes that she heard me tell, pretend like they're her own. <laughs> and in private, she wears a MAGA hat and says illegals are ruining our country. <laughs> <laughs> the two year old. The build on that is nice. Nice. It's a great joke. Brian Brian Bates, one of the best joke writers in town. He's very like his presentation so is very subtle. Yeah, very He's subtle. He's just very casual. I mean, dude, he like, had some brutal. Some of his other ones were ruthless, dude. Because <laughs> he was up there with Aaron and Nate. And, and Nate. Yeah, they did like a Nate Lamb podcast and, thing together. And Nate and Aaron kind of like flew through theirs. And yeah. Brian was like, I got a lot more, so I'm just going to keep going. Gosh. <laughs> he dude. just kept it. He did. I mean, he had like, he was like a, a like a like at a uh, wedding, like the maid of honor. Yeah. Four pages. Yeah. Front and back. Yeah, he was. Small font. Yep. This guy Small was just font. going for it, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Which... He said he flails around a lot. Mm-hmm. I've gotten critiques that I do that on stage. Mm-hmm. If anyone's ever been to the show, there's a lot of me, I don't know, falling over, laying on the ground, hiding behind the stool. Yeah, it's active. You're burning a, a lot of uh, a lot of physical comedy. Yeah, he likes to flail around a lot. 
takes jokes that are that are and uses them as her own that I've repeated is <laughs> is wild. That he said Brian Bates said I'm stealing jokes from him. Yeah. No, dude. Yep. <laughs> but we do have a lot. Actually, I did. I did try to buy a joke from Brian Bates one time. How does that go? I mean, I didn't do it. Oh. But I was like, man, that's an unbelievable. It was something about Chick Fil A. Mm-hmm. I go, that's an incredible joke. But then I was like, well, I got plenty of jokes. Yeah, I've never bought a. J- I, I do think, people buy jokes? Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, all the time. How? It's like an open mic night. You go. I mean, usually they would say, hey, can I? I mean. Actually, I hear about it a lot. I've never seen it happen. There, but there's guys that have like I know a guy that's a writer for uh, a comic. Mm-hmm. He's a comic though. Got it. So when he kind of like tightens one up, he'll he'll let he'll send the guys thirty minutes. Say, Do you want any of these? Is that prevalent? Like, is that happening a no, lot? Or no, not prevalent. Not prevalent. I I've never used one from somebody else or taken one from somebody else ever. That's so yeah. interesting. But that is the that is the the reason why that joke is so funny is because that's like, and I think there's another one from Stroop about. Mm-hmm. That that that's like the holy grail is t- you, you get caught lifting a joke. Yeah, because that you've seen that on TikTok, like Amy Schumer or Mencia. Carlos Mencia yeah. or or whoever. They, they or sometimes SNL. They're like, this joke is ripped exactly from this bit. Mm-hmm. But there is a lot of me and Stroop have talked a lot. There's a lot of parallel thinking for sure. Think about all the things you ingest all day, and then like. A month later, that thought comes to you. You don't remember where it came from. Right. When you go, oh, this is, but it's it's kind of like a repeat offense type thing. If you like get a rep or somebody should like did this, like if somebody else says like, I don't know, what what's a bit like a, a dogs and cats are different because cats always hide from me and dogs, no matter what, love you. Mm-hmm. Like you can't say somebody else stole that from you. Right. That's like, but if I did like, uh, I'm one of eight kids homeschooled from Lilburn, Georgia, and my dad made us get up and you're like, dude, that's John's crisp bit. Yeah. Like that's uh, that's yeah, that's his. Yeah. You can't take that. No. And then somebody said the goal was to write jokes, to write jokes in your act that only you can tell. Nice. Like Jim Gaffigan is like, I have eight kids and I'm overweight and I'm Catholic. I can't take that. Right. It's not it's it's him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh what did he say? That I flail around a lot, take jokes, and then uh, in private, in private, I wear a MAGA hat. Yeah, and complain about how immigrants are ruining the country. <laughs> That's wild. Dude. The progression on it of his two-year-old daughter doing these things is like, dude, <laughs> it's such a misdirection. Just his two-year-old being like, like, "Yeah, I love this hat, and I hate immigrants, really do." Just like John, I want to be just like him. Just like John Chris. <laughs> Stellar joke. I really like that joke a lot. Here's one from uh, Tim, the legend, the goat. I love John. He's a beautiful man who's born with mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? What do you mean? That's it. I was born with mascara. That's the joke. Everybody says, what does that mean? I got. I look like I have mascara on? Yeah, at times. All the time people say that to me all the time. Yeah. Every time, mostly on TikTok people say that yeah, a lot. Yeah, the comments say that a lot. Dude, lay off the mascara. I don't think I've ever worn mascara in my life. You were born for like... Fallout Boy. Oh, oh yeah, I was. You should have. Oh yeah, should have went that route. No, somebody did tell me one time. They go, dude, like your Botox looks great, <laughs> and I thought that was the highest compliment. That's like getting a joke lifted. Yeah, <laughs> that's the equivalent of yeah. that. Yeah, and I was like, well, no, because they were like, your 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 face looks good. Yeah, and I never had Botox, mm-hmm. so I was like, I think that's a compliment. Huge compliment. It's because it's a guy wearing mascara. I guess that's a joke. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Or it means that you don't show facial expression very effectively. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shoot, maybe it that. might mean that. It might mean that. that was, I thought that was yeah. Tim had Tim had another one. That he had some good ones. Tim had a joke. It, it will never be about Trey Kennedy. Yeah, do you remember that one? Yep. I, ever, I mean, that's so <laughs> wild, dude. Trey would have loved that one. Trey would love. I gotta tell you. Gotta tell Trey. I that. talked to Trey over the weekend. Yeah, Michael was with him. My our DJ was yep. with him, and he told him. Nice. He was dying. That was great. I mean, it's just so out of pocket. That was my first time hearing Tim. Was it? Yeah, I've never seen his comedy before. Yeah, I've heard you great, talk yeah, highly yeah. about him he's a lot. He's a legend, bro. He's awesome. a legend. Yeah, just every show, every show this weekend. He's probably got four shows this weekend, 5,000 people every show. Crazy. Packed, can't find a seat. That's unreal. One of the goats. We got uh, another one from Derek. <sighs> Here we go. And nobody knew how great John's life had truly been until he told on a podcast that one of his lowest points was having drinks in the morning at the airport, which is how most people start their vacations. <laughs> that was one of my favorite ones of the that's night. That's an unbelievable joke. That That's an unbelievable joke because I've never thought that. 
Yeah, that from that perspective. Never. Yeah. And Josh had a joke about how my cancellation and rehab was kind of silly too. Yeah. And you go, it just puts your whole like life into perspective. Yeah. You go, oh, this is st- stupid. Yeah. This is stupid. The He's talking about you with Burt Kreischer, right? Yes. That was on the Burt cast? Which I was like, Burt Kreischer, which is like, I was all on the news everywhere. And then he had me on his podcast. So I like got canceled and he wanted to hear the story. And I was like, I said I was I was drinking a lot. And he goes, well, how bad was it? And I go, well, one time, I remember this, coming home from Midland, Texas, I had a layover in DFW, <laughs> and I got a, a, a drink at like nine in the morning. I got a shot of uh, Tito's or something like that. <laughs> and I was crying, dude. And Bert kept looking at you like, what the? Oh, get to the bad part. Like, we should okay, go back and review the... that podcast. And dude, he's like, what? He's blown away the whole time. Just yeah. looking at you like, Waiting for the other shoe and, to drop. And, yeah, Where's and, the yeah, crime? yeah, and, like, and all that, it? and all that, and same with what, what Josh Black said about my cancellation. It does, it does uncover like the the religion, mm. how the religion is, it, what it had, yeah. how it had affected me. Mm-hmm. Not my relationship with Christ, but all this other this subculture, this community. Yes, like regular people are like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. If you're uh, outside the faith, looking you're, at you're my like, cancellation, what? you're like, wait, what? Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> Josh, and I think it was like, dude, was that like okay for me to say? I go, dude, not only okay. I go, you, you have no idea how disarming that is t- to my past. Mm. Like it just melts off of you. Mm-hmm. Like any kind of shame or like baggage or like. It's so if somebody says the truth about it yeah. in humor, I mean, gosh, what a joke, dude. It's so good. And it's just he makes it the I mean, what uh Brian Bates said, the one John didn't put it in there, but he goes, I, I love John. I tell everybody I know about John. He goes, I told I have a buddy that's a writer for the Christian magazine. I told him, and then he's like, There's four women you should speak to. Yes, <laughs> I can put you in contact. They'd have a lot to say. <laughs> I take it back. That was my favorite That's joke of the night. That was my joke. favorite joke I think, of the night. And then, well, it's Josh Black. He said that my safe word was Deuteronomy. Awesome joke. Yeah, phenomenal, bro. I can't put that one phenomenal. in here either, dude. <laughs> you need any good joke, too, has Gosh. some. Any, I'm sorry, a any little good bit of roast. Yeah, yeah any yeah. good roast has some that make the crowd go, ooh, yeah, like, oh, we're gonna pull back a little yeah, bit because like, oh, oh, that gosh, one was. Dude. I mean, you look, go back and watch some of those Comedy Central roasts. They're just brutal. like brutal. Some of them about like like the one that like Nikki Glazer had a joke about Jewel one time mm-hmm. about her teeth. It was just like, <laughs> or was it Ann Coulter or somebody up there? It was know. just like, gosh, dude. <laughs> And they, I mean, go to come to the roast battle with Josh Black <laughs> later later this month. And, yeah, and it's just so. I'd love to hear him you do his are. Thing, you man. do sit there like, oh man. Yeah, I mean that. I love the parallel of that's how most people start their vacations. <laughs> <laughs> just but you go, tr- morning but drink. I was like sincerely crying and sincerely like going to. It's like, dude, gosh, you're it's like so I'm good. spiraling. So good. You know, the family of four next to you has like mimosas and shots lined up in their tropical shirts. And, you're and I'm going like, back to go to Bible study, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got another one from uh, Aaron. Yes. <laughs> hey, I love John. I learned everything I know about comedy from John. Like tonight, I only have three jokes, but if I flail around a bunch, I can make that an hour, no problem. <laughs> Same joke, I guess, yeah, from earlier. Right. Making fun of my act. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nate had one about my show. He goes, Did he, what did he say? He's like, John should, John invited me to come out to his show. And yes. I was like, there's no way. He said, Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I said, Are you sure? You sure you want me to see it? He's like, What am I going to see? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you sure it's ready for me to see it? You Which sure? I don't think, I don't think I have, uh, like, I, I got no, um, insecurity about that. It's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? It's fun. Like, I know, what where my position is in comedy yeah. and how where the kind of you know venues that we sell and the, the, and so does he that's yeah, why, yeah, that's that's why, why the funny. joke is funny and yeah. all those people are like I know the, the I think the, the what's beautiful about a roast is they I all those people love me absolutely and I know they do it's the only reason it works yeah if any of those were TikTok comments I'd be furious <laughs> oh dude I would be furious dude 
I would. You'd be texting me. I'd be like, oh, John, put the phone down. Stop. You got to get out dude, of the comments. I would be at 2 a.m. Yeah. I can't pull it. This oh, isn't good. I would be furious. <laughs> if any of these jokes were on TikTok comments from strangers, I'd be furious. <laughs> Who made the joke about your stage voice? <laughs> oh, to Tim. Tim. What are we doing? Yeah. yeah he talked to him regularly. He's like, what's up? You get on stage. What's going on, Chattanooga? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> We got to put that whole, I'm trying to think of, I mean, I have the whole roast, but uh, on a private link. Yeah. Like to send out to my agents and stuff like that, like right. my family, but I can't. You'd probably need to uh, do some editing work on that. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. What Plus, Leanne I said. also think it's kind of nice for just like the people who are in the room and for yeah. you. Like it was just a nice little special moment. Yeah. Leanne, she's like, all that stuff about you being canceled and all that stuff. And, and she's like, how come you never flirted with me? <laughs> genuinely disappointed just like what happened like she's like am all, i not all the time yeah. we spent together <laughs> you i never, was like Sorry. never never not even did it cross your mind to, like do you ever think of me it's so it's so it just like exposes the humanity of all of us mm -hmm. it, that that's like obviously it's if you that's a little bit true yeah or if somebody was like wait you never gosh dude. yeah <laughs> it's, it's so good, dude. I, I mean, I've never felt more like oddly loved. Mm -hmm. After this, we got another one. Yeah, Stroop. Yeah. Stroop, come back with another one. Yeah. Somebody asked me, "What's the funniest joke you've ever heard, John Taylor?" And I told him, "I'll never forget because it's a joke we all love that Cat Williams does." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude. <laughs> Which uh, Cat Williams? <laughs> Everybody, that's, that was mentioned a couple of times. Cat Williams is my favorite comic. Yeah. Always has been. Yeah. Since I the reason I started comedy. So I think I talk about it in here sometimes. For sure. Cat Williams. I don't have any jokes that are similar to Cat Williams. Yeah. Talk I about telling jokes from a unique perspective. I couldn't. By the way. That's what I Cat literally does. couldn't. Yeah. But I, he, I, he, would, he would inspire me, I guess, in a way. Yeah. He said, What's your favorite joke that John tells? <laughs> it's one that Cat Williams does. That's great. <laughs> great. We joke. got one more from Aaron. All right. Here we go. Close it out. Uh, John is a dear friend. I've always, you know, I'm worried about John sometimes, but I can always tell how well he's doing based on what he's wearing. Like the more ridiculous the outfit, the more demons he's battling at that moment. Like t-shirt and jeans, he's doing great, right? Jordan's in a ramen noodle sweatsuit. <laughs> Book him a flight to Arizona that day. <laughs> Today. Today, dude. <laughs> Book the flight. Get Meaning, this man back do you think to that's true? Do you think that's true about the podcast? About your fits? Now people are going to be watching the podcast thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, because I do some, sometimes I have a, uh, like a, something, a, a, uh, make a statement. Yeah, you go off at times. With like a racing jacket or yeah. something like that. I haven't made the core, the, the connection, but I'm, I'm going to be watching. I, yeah, no, today, yeah, so you must be doing all right today. I'm wearing a Travis Tritt, yep. 1996 yep. tour t-shirt. Yeah. That's a, fine. A normal graphic tee. Yeah. So if I what do I come in here for like is that, a white that lanyard's on the shirt? Yeah, dude. Wow, that's wild. I've never seen that before. I got it from a stylist. Because if initially I was like, "Are you wearing the the VIP lanyard?" Oh, wearing the lanyard. <laughs> I was dude. like, "Dude, oh, sure. what?" That's a wild look. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, let me think. What do I come in here? I guess I'd come in here in some like the reflective vests. Yes. Maybe the some NASCAR. Maybe some Pitbull T-shirts. Mm -hmm. We could look back at all the thumbnails. We don't need to. There's a lot of them. I don't know if that's make that connection uh, can be made, but now people are going to be watching. Right. All that to say, unbelievable night. I'm glad you could be a part of it. Dude. It was fun, man. All, a lot of my friends flew into town. We're yeah. going to do. We we'll have to do something with that link. There's. Oh, I can't post it. No, I'm just going to keep it. Pa but I do have it. Patreon. How much? Mm, Twenty a month. To, 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 and we were at least one joke a month. Yeah. Gosh, dude, there's so many. Twenty bucks a month, and we're just dripping out. That's you're like fourteen what, second you're like, clips. Dude, how long for until a year I get and a this half? thing until I finally get it? Yeah. Uh, what an unbelievable night, man! And I think, and I, I should say, in the is that's what I think. That's what comedy is. I, uh, Russell Brand said, uh, uh, "Tell the truth about the things you care about." Mm. That that's stand up comedy. So like a lot of the things that I talk about. Uh, church uh growing up as a christian uh nascar southern culture texting social media same in this podcast yep we are telling that if, if it didn't there's so many things we scroll past and you go no mm -hmm. and and why do we the, the easter thing why do we care about that we i i i do want to tell the truth about the things i care about yeah i do care about the church deeply 
right? Yep. I do care. Like that's I'll take it at a funny angle, mm-hmm. but I do and and that everybody took the time to I know how busy all those people are. They took the time to r- write a couple jokes about me was uh is uh if, if that's not one of the five love languages, it certainly should be. That's so cool, man. Certainly should be. Uh thanks everybody. This week's episode brought to you by Miracle Made. I woke up on those sheets this morning. Mm. Baby. Oh. Okay. Ah, no, I left it. I, I got that one. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality if you wake up too hot or too cold? I didn't wake up all night. I uh, highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics to make temperature regulated bedding so you can sleep the perfect temperature at night, especially after my roast. Did I think about it? No. Went mm. right to sleep. Nice. Slept like a baby. It's important. Miracle made, baby. Self-cooling properties for better quality sleep. Like we said, the silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA. Mm. Miracle made sheets are thermoregulated and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long. Nice. That's a good song. Very Thank nice. you. Uh, self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents 99.7% percent of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresher three times longer than other sheets baby no more gross odors comfort quality designed for your skin stop sleeping on bacterial stop sleeping on bacteria Mm. sorry bacteria can clog your pores causing breakouts acne and sleep sleep clean with miracle baby try miracle.com slash net positive to try miracle made sheets today and whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and use a promo code net positive to check out and you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product. It's backed by 30 day money back guarantee. So if you aren't 100%, 100% satisfied, get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle May. Go to trymiracle.com slash net positive. Use the code net positive to claim three piece towel set and save over 40%. Again, trymiracle.com slash net positive or hit the link in the episode description below. Oh, we got some news. We got some you uh, hit to a news. We got or? some viral clips. Oh, clip hit. me, baby. I got some. Uh, let's not start with that one. Dude. Okay. Let's start with um Let's say, oh man, we how many we got here? Three or four? We can get to a couple. Of we them. got four. Uh, let's go to uh, Waffle House. There's a before we tee this one up. Let yes. me just say, uh, sounds like uh, our local neighborhood Waffle House is going on strike. Mm. The Waffle House workers are on strike in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a video of the walkout. Let's go. We just delivered our strike letter to our boss because we're demanding $25 an hour, mm-hmm. 24-7 security, mm-hmm. and the meal deductions to stop. Mm-hmm. We delivered a letter to tell them they had two weeks. Today is a two-week mark. Therefore, we're striking for yep. four days. No changes are going to be made unless we do something and we hit their pockets. So that's exactly what we're doing. We ready. No. We ready. Wild protest song. Oh, yeah. For who? Oh my. Say what? Say what? Oh, say what? We ready for you. Oh my. All right. Dude. All right. All right. All right. I'm hype, bro. All right. First of all, let me just say um, Waffle House, say what you want about the local, is, is a, if you work in corporate at Waffle House, you're balling. Mm-hmm. I mean, these things are everywhere. For sure. Waffle House is, I would argue, a billion dollar business. Yeah. Um, these people in the parking lots are, in fact, not ready for the Waffle House lawyers. Sure. I assure you. <laughs> I assure you, you are not ready. They ain't ready. <laughs> We're they not ready. <laughs> we they ain't ready <laughs> for a cease and desist. <laughs> I mean, dude, you're not, you're this one lady, had, and, and and I love Waffle House. Uh huh. I'm the Same. biggest. Hey. Speak the truth about the things you care about. Mm. I love Waffle House. Care about it big time. Big time. Yep. Big time customer. One of my biggest go-tos for Uber Eats. Oh, for, oh, is it? Oh, yeah. What, you dude. Uber Eats? Oh. Let me let you in on a little secret, John. On a styrofoam? You can Uber Eats some Waffle House to your place. You can have the happiest meal of your life That's... at any time of day. So you got an all-star and a waffle? Yeah. Oh, I never thought about that. At home, bro? You go eggs, sausage patties, toast. 
and then it's two styrofoam, and then and then the waffle and another one mm -hmm. with the syrup. Oh, I never thought about that, dude. I'm telling you, change your life. Oh man, uh, uh, I will also Sorry to say, distract you. Yeah, from, no, I'll also say cause, uh, they're they're demanding, and, and all the things they're demanding, by the way, fair, sure, very fair. They're demanding one twenty five dollars an hour. You should be getting paid more than that. Yep. Uh, Twenty four seven security. Yeah, we've reviewed some some Waffle House videos on this podcast before. Yeah, people are getting corrupt. People are getting in fights. Mm -hmm. People are throwing things. People are smoking cigarettes. There's the 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 customers are unruly. Yeah, I think I'm on board with this strike, and I'm not on board on most strikes. Twenty four twenty five dollars an hour is that's pretty good. That's good. That's a pretty good salary. Yeah. Well, you also got to think about sometimes there's nobody in there. So maybe they got to do a little bit more with the uh, with the uh, twenty five dollars an hour is pretty good. Uh, also, twenty four seven security is uh, you just get, have one of those ladies take a taekwondo class. There She's you go. Security now, good fix. Done. Or just Check. say next. Hey, take it in your own hands. Sure, we'll defend you. Yeah, the lawyers stand your ground. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> yeah, stand your stand ground. Stand your ground. We'll back you up. They're like, we're gonna do that anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then uh, what's it? And oh, meal deductions. To that stop. means you can't. You can eat there. I think that yeah, that means that's probably getting pulled out of their pulled Listen, out of their paycheck, maybe if they eat yeah. on the job. Like if they're like, hey, I'm gonna break for lunch, but I'm gonna make myself a meal here from there. Pulled out yeah. of their paycheck. Let me tell you right there, this this that's an inside job. If someone's telling you on you for eating, that's Absolutely. somebody that's you got a mole in there. Especially if you don't have 24 seven security, yes. so like no one can see you doing at, this. at Waffle House. Right. Somebody's telling on you. Somebody in there is yeah. telling on you. Y'all got a snitch. Yeah, y'all got a snitch in that group. Yeah. That's a great yep, point. That's what's going on. And they're out here. We're going to protest. Somebody's in there. It, uh, let me look at it again. We'll find out who the guy, who the snitch is. Sure. We'll have to do it right now. And then. Of course, uh, Wi-Fi just crashed as soon oh, as I tried to refresh. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Gone. Great timing. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's an unbelievable. That's an unbelievable. They, of all the people who I would want to be or who I would imagine to be representing Waffle House employees yeah, everywhere, yeah. she's it. She's, on, she's, she's a, a If you were like, describe to me yeah. who it should be or what they should sound like, it's this lady. If it, dude, if they, if there was a great point, if there was a SNL sketch, yes, it would be them. Yes, it would be this. The I wish you were watching on YouTube. It would. It's them. If we're casting a movie, <laughs> like a docu series on the Waffle House strikes, the guy with his hood, two guys with their hoods. This in the back is them, man, with a Bugs Bunny yeah. shirt, <laughs> and it's a musical because they sing at the end. Oh yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Go but go to the girl. There's a girl in a red shirt. Can we uh, can we get a what's hold on? There it is. Go back. Yep. What's that? It says organize the South. And what is that? I don't know. It feels a little, a little confederate. Little confederate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. You know that uh, uh, Leonardo. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was just, uh, it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Organize the South. Yeah, is there smaller font there that What's says going? we shall rise again? What's is that going on there? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. <laughs> Organize the South. Is crazy. I like this. I like this girl who's like, we gotta hit them where their wallets are. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, we're just going for their pockets because yeah. that's the only way we're gonna make change. So yeah. let's get it. Yeah. And let me just they say they want the smoke. They want the smoke. They're coming for it. they film this. Mm -hmm. Let me just say. If uh, if you are going uh, wallet to wallet, <laughs> now John, not on Easter, not on Easter, dude. This is the best. You're like, hey, Michael Jordan, do you want to play uh, uh, a card? Do you want to play Go Fish? Do you want to play Memory? Do you want to play Scategories? Or do you want to play basketball against me? Mm. He goes. They go, Michael Jordan, we want to play basketball. Guess you hey to choose the other options. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we want the smoke. We're gonna hit them where they where it hurts. I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say if that Waffle House had to close down for a minute, I think Waffle do you think they would survive? Yeah. I think Waffle yeah, House. Yeah, in an survive. office somewhere, they just went, Hey, where is that stack of resumes yeah. that we got last yeah. month? From or I need to look at some yeah, of them. Or they're <laughs> written on napkins. <laughs> yeah, we just fired no. twelve people. No, it's so. gonna be two months later. You'd be like, hey, we're not getting any revenue from the one in Ackworth. What's going on down there? Like, oh yeah, they they went on strike like a month ago. It's closed. Yeah, it does. Well, we've been getting in so all these stacks of money, we haven't even known that that one's been closed. You know what? Just sell it. Yeah. Who cares? Whatever. The South will rise again. That's not what it said. What did it say? Organize the Organize South. Organize the South. Organize the South is why. I love the confidence, though. I'm into I do. this. I'm I don't think they're 100%. getting 25 bucks an hour. I support them. 
Yeah. I'll go out there with them. Sure. I go out there with them. Yeah. I go across the picket line for Waffle House. I'd like to see them get paid. I don't see it happening. What I got, um, I sent you a I sent you an article this week, Alex. Yes. Um, you want to bring that one up? Yeah, sure. I'll read the headline. Sure. <sighs> there it is. Cojoined. Hold on. Sorry, ads. Cojoined twin of TLC's Abby and Brittany is now married uh, to an Army veteran. This is a photo of um, a wedding. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's a man and there's a, a cojoined. There is a, uh, a <laughs> there's a conjoined twin. Mm-hmm. The conjoined twin, one of them, it's one body, right? With the, oh, two, I don't know. You can say it. Two heads. Yep. That's that is that is what it is. And married to one guy, right? The conjoined twins married a guy, right? You have any comment? No. You got anything? <laughs> Come on. No. All right. <laughs> Dude. Happy Easter. You can't say this. <laughs> happy Easter. Yeah. Everybody deserves happiness. Yeah. And he's a happy guy now <laughs> that he's married. <laughs> so. So that's great. For all of all three of them, it's awesome. Moving on, yeah. What's Moving next? on. What else we got okay. On the all right. Yeah. I don't know if we can get through that one. That what was. Uh, I wish that was. That's not. It's real or fake. That's real. That one's real. That's real. Yep. And the jokes. I guess say they came down, but I think they might have come up. They did. Yeah, they came from. If this is heaven, mm-hmm. this is where a lot of inspiration, my creativity, the mind that God gave me. Mm. I do say jokes came down for sure. Those. Yeah, from beneath. Yeah, they came from <laughs> beneath. Hey, go go to the TikTok comments. That's not what this podcast is for. Right. We're cleaning it up. We're just covering the news. Yeah, we're just covering the news. That's, that's all. That's news. That's all this is. That's all that's fit to print. <laughs> <sighs> all right. What else we got? So uh, next on the docket. Here we go. Um, this did We need to get better. You're about to have a child. I am. You need to do better at, in life. Thanks. And we have a motive. <laughs> Thanks, man. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. We, what I got, we have a motivational speaker. Yes. It's going to help us. Yes. I need to do better, too. Let's hear what he has yes, to say. Yes, here we go. Let's see what we got. A millionaire in the next two years, go through a season of saying no. Hey, you want to go golfing on Sunday? No, 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 no. Only will you get ahead when you start saying no to distractions. Hey, you want to go to lunch? Hey, you want to help me do this? No, I don't. Hey, you want to help me move this weekend? I'm not being a bad person. If they don't like you, screw them. Okay? Would you rather them not like you or you not like you? Mm. It was missing the, uh, it's missing the usual motivational theme song. Yeah, yeah. I still Sweet feel like, dreams are made of these. Dude, we're, we're such good singers, they might flag that. Yeah, we should be they careful. They go, this is the exact track. We should be careful. Is his name Elliot? Uh, his name is Andy Elliot. That's his name on his shirt? It, that is his last name on his shirt. Or Elliot's his middle name. That's his name. It's though. his name, though. Let me say off the top, um, if you're not playing golf, you're going to hate yourself. Mm. That's part of the enjoyment. Mm. And also, where this is the guy with his ankles showing on his outfits, right? I believe he has the, like t- the tight outfits and his like yeah the tightest yeah I would I would want this guy to help me move though that's probably why <laughs> look at his muscles yeah every that's why everybody asks that's why everybody him. has it yeah let me just say that I, was that wasn't an example he made up no he's projecting exactly what everyone asks yeah him he goes to, he help you move. Can you help no, me move no 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> I haven't been asked to help anyone move and I'm offended <laughs> no one's asked me to help them move in years <laughs> yeah they go hey do you, what about John Chrism nah. Dude. Nah, don't ask John. We got yeah. to just get the kids from the neighborhood. Yeah, buy him a pizza. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, look at this guy. Yeah, he can what carry he's a lot of boxes. Dude. Yeah, say no to everything. Mm-hmm. If people don't like you, that's the, that's the that's that's Instagram. People don't like you, it's their fault for sure. That's that 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 line of thinking. Yeah, that's we, on them. Yeah, if they don't, if people don't like you, it's their fault. Yeah, 
because they've shown up for you a lot mm. when you've needed them. And according to this guy, never show up for anyone. Do not under any circumstances show up. Never. Mm -mm. Don't do not. If be, you want to be happy. If you want to be happy. Yeah. Do not show kindness to anyone. No. Don't go out of your way to uh, think of anyone but yourself. Yeah. And that's it. No. And um, when you get there, mm -hmm. wherever this place that he's claiming that we can all get to mm. of that, you know, don't don't make any sacrifices until you reach yeah enlightenment where is what this we, yeah where is this place yep how much is it a certain amount of money right is it uh living in a one bedroom apartment by yourself and with no friends mm -hmm. and no golf mm -hmm. tough don't do anything say for no. anybody else just say yeah. no 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 yeah a lot of moving yeah yeah a lot of moving <laughs> also are they on the set of the office it looks like it too <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that? That's the office, dude. It is. That's the Michael office. Scott. Is that's the that's the. Conference this is the room. conference room. Yeah. That's this is right before this. He goes everybody in the conference room. <laughs> and then he said he missed a hundred percent of the shots he don't take. They are on the set of He's the office. He's on the set dude. of the office. That's insane. Also, have you ever seen like a, um? I've seen like a you know t uh, Matt Rife like yeah. when he posts like a piece of crowd work or a piece of, like a clip. It's also like, oh, there's 9,000 people here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like you post, you're like, oh, dude. but then sometimes you see like a a, a, a stand-up clip and it's like, you know, hey, this is not the venue that you should be posting clips from. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this is not, you are in like a, in, in the, in the study hall of a college campus mm -hmm. or like, dude, you are on the, you're in the, you're on the street corner. Like how no matter how good this joke is, you're not in the place where other people have said also we like these jokes. Have you seen the dude with the glasses who pretends to be a motivational speaker to an empty room? Ah, oh, so good. They they it's shot just like this, so it's yeah. all cropped in and there's yeah. nobody in the seats in front oh, of him. Oh, so perfect. <laughs> but he's dude. just talking to an empty room as like, a joke. As a joke. That's yeah. what real or fake it's is. Phenomenal. That's why we have this segment real or fake. Yeah. This is real. Very real. Very real. Yeah. In if you were but like the Waffle House thing, like that, it's beautiful because it's real. Yeah, but it should. <laughs> How many people are in there? Uh, ten, max. Ten people. There's no way a room that looks like that on that wall is bigger than no. twenty by twenty. And he's like, got a mic on him for his own clips, of course, not for the people in there. Yeah, and he's got a 14-year-old Pakistani guy cutting all his clips for him too cuz it's the same fonts that everybody else in the world uses. Oh, Anyways, uh <laughs> out of left field. Anyways. Anyways, speaking that's of how, projecting, we have no uh, we have no <laughs> we have no uh emotions about that at all no. whatsoever. Gosh, it's so funny. Great 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 find. Yeah, great dude, find. It's a good one. I love this guy. We love him. What do we got? Just do don't ask go? him to help you move. That's it. We'll we'll end on um Let's end on the the, the Bucky's guy. Okay. All right, because this is another thing that I also love. I haven't seen this one yet. All right, I love Bucky's. Okay. okay. And this is one of the examples. Before I uh, say it, I'm going to let you enjoy this clip because it it is uh, whatever we talked about. Everything's everyone else's fault. If they don't like you, it's their fault. Right. Okay. So this guy is saying five truths about Bucky's. I love Bucky's, by the way. My book is in Bucky's. I've never been to a Bucky's. Yeah, it's just so a if, huge. What do gas I need station. to know before seeing no, this? No, it's just a huge redneck gas station. Okay, they're in the south. You can get like a, a sequin dolphin vest. You can buy like they have the like beaver nuggets, which are these like this snack that they have. It's are huge. they actually beaver? Are they no, it's I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like popcorn or something. Oh, okay, cool. But it has its own like culture, hillbilly. But it's it's again. A huge business. Okay. So this guy is he got fired from there. Okay. And he's saying the five that he's trying. He's he, oh, he's whistleblowing. Yes, one of these. But it, but the comments turn out not to go in his favor. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right, folks. So we're here at Bucky's, and I'm here to get my W two because I worked at this <laughs> for three months and quit. So I'm going to give you five truths about why working at Bucky's is not worth anywhere near the $21 an hour they pay you. All right, truth number one. If you're one minute late, and I mean one minute, they write you up. They call you into the office and tell you if it happens two more times, you're fired. That's truth number one. Truth number two, most of the people here 
absolutely hate their jobs. Truth number three, if you get caught eating one item, I mean one item, it could be a pecan. If you eat one pecan and get caught, you're fired. All right, I got my W-2, we're out of here. Truth number four, if you get fired or you quit, you lose all your PT, pay time off, your PTO. I know friends that have lost hundreds of hours and I lost some myself. And truth number five about working at Bucky's is the reason I quit. My manager told me I wasn't walking fast enough and that the cameras were watching me. So I put my cart away and I walked right out the front door. <laughs> Truths about Bucky's. I feel like I could write all the comments. <laughs> yeah, you I haven't, I haven't looked at them yet, but I know what they say. Everybody goes, sounds like a legit business. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds regular. Well, it sounds like this guy should also talk to the Waffle House people. <laughs> Because they might feel the same way, and neither of them are getting what they want. No. So. <laughs> first of all, every, most. First of all, he goes. Uh, what do you say? The, what was the first one? Uh, if you, uh, God, what was the first one? Here, hold on, I'll play back. We'll break all them right, down one by one. Number one. If you're one minute late, yeah. and I mean, hold on, one wait, minute, keep playing it. They write you up. Wait. They call you into the office and. Tell you if it happens two more times, you're fired. Stop. That's truth Hold on. One. He's like, oh, also, if it happens two more times, right? Meaning, you get three strikes. Yeah. I don't know if he does. This guy know what baseball is? This guy know what? It's a pretty simple. Does this guy concept. know what a job is? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Three strikes. If you you're go, out. That sounds reasonable. That's how it goes. They're they sound very accommodating. Hey, you were late today. Yeah. Don't let it happen again. If it hey. happens two more times, you'll have to be gone. Hey. Cool. Also, great. There's other people that have. There's their their shifts before you, right? So you gotta you gotta come for them. Yeah. So if you're 20 minutes late, yeah, they work 20 minutes over. Yeah. You. That's not how jobs work. And the yeah, and the company has to pay them overtime. Yeah. Now that's not for, how any yeah. of this works. Right. If you come late, they say you're late, and they say if it happens two more times, yeah, sounds pretty lenient. It's a job. He's, that's just a job. The whistleblower. He's, yeah. And then, and then he says, if you eat anything. Yeah. Eat anything. Yeah. That's the second one? Yeah. Truth number two. Do the people here absolutely hate their jobs? Yeah. Most oh, people? Yeah. Most people hate their jobs. Yeah. Everybody that goes to work because they'd rather be doing other stuff that's not work. Right. Sounds like everybody. Yeah. Okay. Kay. Tell us something we don't know. We right. haven't got there yet. Truth number three. Here we go. Item. I mean one item. It could be a pecan. If you eat one pecan and get caught, you're fired. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's called actually stealing from the company is what that, <laughs> yeah, so that's what, theft. And it's also yeah. all kind of germs. Yeah. A pecan. That's in a, th you're going to reach your finger in there? Yeah. And the boiled nuts. Turns out if you out eat that. something that's for sale. Mm. That's what. That's the same thing that's going on at Waffle House. Same thing. They just want to eat. Same deal. Hey, we can't. You don't eat your own supply. Yep. Don't smoke your own supply. Never get high on your own supply. That's what it is. Yeah. Can, why, why could I not get that? Uh, yeah. Right, you're not a we, drug guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll handle that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Point four. Yeah. What's it? What All right. I got my W two. We're oh. out of here. Truth number four. If you get fired <laughs> or you quit, you lose all your PT pay time off your PTO. Yeah, duh. You quit, bro. You don't work there anymore. You don't. Well, what are you going to get? They're just going to, hey, we'll pay you for the next month. Hey, we know that you also have these six days that yeah. you are allowed to be paid for if you wanted to take time yeah. off. We're just going to give you the cash. Yeah, thanks. Sorry it didn't work out. Thanks for never showing up on time <laughs> and eating all of our food and have a terrible attitude. Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to fire you, but we'll keep you on the payroll. Yeah. What? <laughs> if you quit... They take away your paid time off. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Quitting is volunteering for unpaid time off. Yeah. That's you can what get you just did. <laughs> That's what quitting is. You're yeah. saying, I'm going to not work anymore yeah. and not be paid. You can get the most time off. <laughs> the most. You can get all the time off. All unpaid, yeah. but the most time off. Unpaid time off. <laughs> volunteering, dude. And the last one he said he just wasn't he was he wasn't walking too he wasn't walking fast enough. The cameras are watching you. Yeah, yeah. And that's a specific to a gas station. I've, a gas station is <laughs> huge. Yeah, but it's your do your every person that has been employed has someone has come to them and said that they're doing it too slow. I feel like this guy has worked at Bucky's since he like was in high school. 
He's yeah. never worked anywhere else. Yeah. So he's been there for literally 28 years. Yeah. And it's now at a point where he's like raising all these qualms he yeah. has without realizing that like, dude, actually this is every employer. Yeah. And everywhere. he's like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Bucky's to go to where? <laughs> where you got you got you quit Bucky's. Where are you gonna go that doesn't have these same policies? What I want is for him to go into his next employer and we go, why did you quit Bucky's? <laughs> well, first of all, see my TikTok. They <laughs> check my TikTok. First of all, they made me show up on time. Right. Every day. Every time. And also, you know, all the product that the business was selling to customers. So that's how we can have a business. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was eating it. Yeah. And they were like, you can't do that. Can you believe that? Ridiculous. And then when I had the, uh, I didn't like it. Right. I didn't like it. Didn't like your job. No. Yeah. Sound like other people actually might. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> what? Yeah. Strange. Anyways. I don't, I hated it there. Uh -huh. Ate all their food. Didn't show up on time. Was lazy. Um, but can you guys hire me? Yeah. Yeah. And also, if I decide I don't want to work here anymore, can you still pay me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe it's fake. Meet me in the middle. You know, if I quit, I still get paid. Yeah. When do I start? Yeah. We're, maybe it's fake. No, dude. It's real. It's got to be real. Bro. Gosh, I love the internet. We should just call this podcast Real or Fake. Yeah. That's what everybody's, every, all the clips people send in are, yeah, is he getting crushed? We'll do a spinoff show. <laughs> yeah. Is he didn't go one minute late is late. Yeah, one, two, three, all valid. Those are the rules at most companies. <laughs> I like Bucky's even more now. <laughs> oh man. The internet is great. Honestly, the comments aren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Are they? I they? thought they were gonna rip them apart. They're coming for them. Most jobs I've had for 46 years, same rules apply. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be on time. How many PTO hours did you have for only working three months? <laughs> oh, oh, he, oh, he said he only worked three months. Oh, there. I oh, missed, missed that, that part. Okay. Oh, yeah. He said, I walked away with about 50 hours on the table. Stupid. I could have called in sick and used them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. yeah, you should have, yeah. bro. Just use them all and then quit. And they wouldn't have been able to do anything. <laughs> What an idiot, dude. You could have had it all, Adele. You could have had it all. You could have had it all. Dang, man. Tough, dude. Could have. Hopefully, next time we get back to uh, Bucky's, uh, we'll see that guy. We'll save those clips for next week. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, that works. Great week going to the pod. You're having a baby? I'm having a baby this week, John. Wait, no matter what happens, next week you have a baby. <laughs> yeah, we're having a baby. And you may or may not be in next week, or we'll see. No, I'll be in next week. Well, we'll be in next week. Yeah, she's coming later this week. Oh, uh, let's go. So also, when I uh, next time you see me, I'll be I'll be a dad. We're gonna add uh, one member to the team. Your baby? Do you have a name or no? Can't tell we do? But oh, we're yeah, not yeah. putting it out yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? That's for secret. the Patreon. Yeah, for the Patreon. Uh, added a team member. Also uh, lost a team member, Andrew. Yes. Who we all know and love. Yep. Uh, moved up to be with his family. Yep. In uh, Michigan. Yeah, we'll miss him. Yeah, we'll miss him. We love Andrew. He's been around the pod for a long time, all the way since the beginning. I think two years. I know a lot of people. Yep. Um, we 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 got pro well. All, look at all the uh, swag we sent him off with. Yeah. I'm getting all the advertiser. He's all set. Yeah, man. He's Whatever his venture is up there, he's got some glasses. He's got some sheets. Yep. He's got some blue land. Yep. Should be all set. Hooked up. Uh, bummed to lose him, but uh, we got a lot of things moving in the uh in the net positive uh, sphere these days. Mm -hmm. Uh, big things coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you next week, I mean, baby. Sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On, on the net, it's a positive. <laughs>